Hey everyone, it's Tony Moore here at the 46th Annual Creative Arts Daytime Emmys. I am here with Brienne Chu from Light as a Feather, who has four nominations, including yours, for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Daytime Digital Series. Who oh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> How did you feel about receiving this nomination? I feel so honored, and it's so great to see like the progress being made in our industry towards diversity and inclusivity. And for me to be here and nominated, I think is like is a huge step, you know. And I feel I feel very honored. Yeah. Now, light as a feather. For those of you who are not familiar, it is a thriller about a light as a feather, stiff as a board game gone wrong, where people are dying in the order that you guys predicted. Yeah. Going on set, how does that feel? Like, are you a, a scary person? Are you into horror films? Like, how do you feel before you go to set? I mean, I love horror films. I have uh, ever since I was young, and I watch them by myself just to freak myself out. But, um, yeah, the show is definitely scary. I think second season that we're shooting right now is definitely scarier than the first season. But, I mean, I feel fine. Like, because I see everything happening behind the scenes and me and my castmates just have a lot of fun we laugh a lot so that helps but it is it's scary and the writers do such an amazing job now for, for those who might not be familiar with the show uh, what's the one thing that they can expect when they watch the show I think they can expect to really see how much work everyone our cast crew writers how much we put into it it really translates like the passion and it's 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 good, it's good work, you know, and it's strong female characters, it's diverse, and I think for a show for young adults to be this diverse is, is so important, and it's scary, it is, and it only gets scarier, guys, trust me, I've, I've read the scripts, it's scary. Now listen, when you go home at night, after a long day on set, do you have to sleep with the light on because of all the stuff that's happened? To be honest, I've slept with the light on since I was probably six years old. <laughs> oh, me too, me like too. Like a little night light, you know, like not full on light, but yeah, so, I mean, if I'm already that skittish, I definitely think after watching the show, you'll need a nightlight. <laughs> well, congratulations to you and the show, and best of luck. And you guys stay tuned. Make sure you check out Light as a Feather.